Hi, my name is Jonathan Hockman. I'm a critical care paramedic and paramedic instructor, and I'm going to take you through a dopamine administration. So the question we have on the board is dopamine's been ordered for a patient weighing 84.9 kilograms at a dose of 2.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. The solution strength is a 500 milligrams in 250 of D5W. At what rate should the medication be infused? This assumes that like most medications in the critical care setting, we're going to be delivering this medication through a pump. And so what we're going to do is we have to figure out how many milliliters an hour to set the pump. Now this requires a couple of calculations to do first, but we're gonna use the standard formula calculation for most infusions. And this is, as I drop it in here, this formula, um, which is, I'll move it over slightly for you. The volume in milliliters divided by the concentration in micrograms, multiplied by the dose over the time in minutes, and then that has to be converted from uh, minutes to hours for the milliliters per hour uh, association. So first, a couple of things along the way, we need to know what our desired dose is. This desired dose, we have to figure out. Now we know that our patient is 84.9 kilograms and we want 2.5 mics per kilogram to administer to him. So there's a simple formula here. We just need to calculate the desired dose and that's simply done as 84.9 kilograms times the 2.5 micrograms gets us our desired dose of 212.25, okay? So keep that in mind. That's gonna go into our formula here as the dose. We also need to know what our concentration is. We know the volume. Our volume is described to us in the question, 250 milliliters of D5W. That is becoming the first numeral in our formula. So we're going to end up with 250 there, but the 500 milligrams is problematic because we want to deliver a dose in micrograms. So we also have to convert the 500 milligrams to micrograms. Now, that's also fairly easy. If you recall the metric system, the metric system is set up to where it's a base 10. So essentially, micrograms are smaller than milligrams. So a thousand micrograms equals one milligram. And we know that we're doing 500 milligrams added. That works out to 500,000 micrograms. All right. So this is our second part of our equation here. That 500,000 at the end of it, that needs to go into our equation. And pardon my cross swords here, but this is our concentration. And I'm assured that you all know that there are 60 minutes to every hour. So, Let's work out our equation. Hopefully this will drop right in here. There's our equation. So again, I'm going to get rid of all these arrows in and run us back to where we know we're at. So here's our formula. I'm going to do some reducing down here the system will let me. So we're going to move that off to the side. I'm going to move this off to the side so it's kind of out of the way. But here's our formula. With me so far, we've got 
the volume of 250, the concentration of 500,000 mics, the dose of 212 converted to hours ends up being 6.3675 milliliters per hour. Simple. Thank you.